Hey guys, what's up? In this video, you'll learn how to draw a swordsman. So get back here with your pencils and papers, and we'll get started. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to do is draw a box in this proximity right here. The next thing I'm going to do is add some guidelines within the box to help me construct the figure that we're going to be drawing. All this is going to be done in time lapse. The next thing I will do is construct the figure that we will be drawing uh, by using basic shapes. The first basic shape is going to be an egg. The next basic shape is going to be kind of like a paragon. Also remember that he's kind of turning. Make sure to get reference. The next basic shape is going to be a box. Then add another box under that. Then one more box. This is going to let us know uh, where each of his piece of his clothing are. The next thing we want to do is place the hand or arm that's going to be holding the sword. Just use stick figure lines. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is draw the arm that's going to be holding the sword. I have a particular idea of how of where I want the sword to uh, go. So it's important that we know where uh, hand is going to play a important factor in where we place the sword. The next thing we want to do before we draw the sword is draw the eye and facial features. The next thing that we will do is draw the sword. Now I'm going to place his hand, his, his uh, other hand that's not holding. This is important to remember. If you take a line and you draw it just about to the edge of this corner right here, then you actually have the placement of where our fist comes out. Now we actually want to capture the shape right, kind of like goes back. That looks about right. Now the next thing we want to do is construct the clothing for our character. Since this isn't a tutorial on clothing, I'm not going to talk you bit about it. But this is important to remember. The sleeve comes all the way down to his, almost all the way down, at least the sleeve of his pants. I brought him down a little bit more, and now we're going to bring it up, throw a few wrinkles into it. Put the arm in, and now we can work more on the sword, what we're doing with that. I'm going to place these knuckles right under the guideline that we got right here. I'm actually gonna resituate this. We we you actually well no we don't we don't we don't have to we can bring it in like so throw our knuckles in and then now I'm going to uh lay down some okay so the what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, construct some basic uh, lines for that that I will use for details later. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place the actual sword in. It's important to realize that this part right here holds the sword in from what I can tell. So we want to make it look like that. So I'm going to come in just, just in on it, right? And then I will do the same. All right, and then to finish it off, we'll come right in the middle of the sword. We want to make sure the entire thing is straight. Just just like so. And then we will come right in here and this will make it look as if it's edged. Give it a real nice bladed detail to it. So now the uh, next thing that I'm going to do is actually finish off this handle right here. And I am going to put a dragon type handle on. Right, so right through here. Give him some ears. That just don't look right. Just like that, and so now we have this dragon thing right there, and the next thing that we are going to do is finish off this. Now normally, and what we have in the reference image is uh, actually uh, this coming up. Actually, maybe maybe I kiss that, because what, what he's supposed to do is his arm is supposed to actually be more elevated this way, but I changed that, and it's supposed to conceal his elbow, um, but that's not what's happening. But if we take this, right, we can make it seem more as if this is right. 
So yeah, a little bit different than my reference image that you guys can't see. Uh, I wish I could show you guys the reference image, but I want to make sure I avoid any copyright infringement issues or anything. So we will do one more thing. We're going to have this coming out of the dragon's mouth and just like that. I think it's cool. And then the last thing I will talk about is the pant. And so uh, I'm not going to talk too much because this isn't a, uh, a clothing tutorial. But basically if you want to learn about how to draw clothes, just look look at clothes, look at the wrinkles. Um, and at some point I will come out with for you. But basically you have this fold right here and then you have this fold right here. And this is important because I think like there's probably like some tie. I'm actually gonna put a tie. I'm gonna put a tie right here. But I think there's some type of thing that comes in right here, right? And so, sort of hole is holding it up in there. Cause I know in karate, we have karate belt, right? And so I just think that that's important to realize that part of the clothing. I am going to finish the rest of the drawing off in time lapse. Yeah, guys. Um, so this is it. Um, I, you can see I tried to make it my own. I tried to add a, a little uh, glare type thing, but the, the gel pen with uh, charcoal just doesn't go as well. It sort of mixes in with it, and I hope it's not ruined. It doesn't look like it's ruined. It tested it out over here. Um, but uh, thanks for watching, uh, and I will see you guys later.